Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is We're All Gonna Die. I post lifestyle and ballet kind of videos and fashion and I post every Monday. So if you guys wanna subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. Let's get into the video. So I thought I would challenge myself and I have notes here, but I thought I would challenge myself into start ballet at home. So if you guys are confused, I used to go to ballet classes and I actually have like a whole playlist if you guys wanna go check it out. But basically I'm an adult dancer. I don't really have that much experience. Just trying to do something that I, I feel passionate about and trying to learn something that I've always wanted to learn basically anyway um last week or the week before that two videos ago I basically posted why I stopped going to ballet and in-person classes and a lot of you guys were mentioning that I should try to do classes on YouTube and try to keep up with ballet like then if you guys want to find out like why i stopped going to in-person classes i will try to link the video somewhere here but just check that out if you guys are curious anyway it was earlier today actually so yeah let's get started hey guys good morning it is saturday at 11 and i just found a katherine morgan video that i'm going to do i'm gonna go ahead and get changed and then we will start the video some of my family came into town and they just left but their dogs are here oh my gosh my cat is yellow right now. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take advantage of the time and just change. So here's one thing. I'm um, gonna look it up on my laptop and we're gonna do it here in my living room kitchen i don't know i don't really have like a, a bar situation elsewhere shoot i didn't think about this all right so we're about to get started um a few disclaimers i'm very very much a beginner i'm sure i already said that i'm about to hit play and in this specific video she does explain form right um but as a beginner i'm sure you find it challenging just because there's so much that you're already focusing on etc etc we already know this so let me go ahead and play the video and see and see what what this is about i feel like i'm going to be so behind but whatever this bar is very basic very slow but it's the same concept as that other one before i forget to say basically this is the only thing i can think of as a bar <laughs> like i don't have anything in my room so um yeah so we're trying to make do and the lights coming like the opposite of me, that's why I look so dark right now. So I put a ring light here so that we can all kind of see and whatever. Let's do four to six, seven, eight. Four count down to plie, one and two. Just find your legs, three and four. And then our- This is beginner, but it's like a little bit more beginner than what I've been taught. I don't, so if you're a beginner, right? And you're trying to follow ballet my teacher allows us to not use our hands because this is just so much that like we don't know so sometimes it's also hard to follow your hands um so that's like maybe a tip i guess i'm only really doing it just to challenge myself but maybe i should stop because i really need to focus on form since i haven't done this in like eight months or something like that my form is totally off i totally know that this is just a lot of mental work i will try to perfected as time but that's why i need to practice if you're a ballet dancer please don't leave any comments being super analytical about the form just because of course this is a beginner and it discourages other adult dancers and good off the bar Demi. two weight the balls of your feet chest is open four to bra one two On the first and plie. So you have so much time to find the proper muscles and technique. Keep the hips square. And so like this seems intimidating, right? Especially if you're a beginner. And to someone that's like done this for years, this is probably super easy. Uh, but I'm not sure if a lot of you guys are aware of something called muscle memory. When you grow up dancing all your life, you build this muscle memory where you can 
be told a routine that is completely new and you're able to kind of learn it like a dance routine you're able to learn it pretty quickly when you are not exposed to dancing at a young age and doing it for years on end or especially in the years where you're most formative i guess simple things like this is such a challenge like my brain my legs don't want to follow like i'm not gonna lie this is such a challenge for me like and it's just like it's literally just like a plie in between a few routines and my brain is still so confused. When I was going once every week, I was slowly starting to catch on to this. If you're a beginner, don't be so down on yourself or don't be so hard on yourself. And if you have done this forever, if you leave nice comments, that will encourage everyone in the comments below. And that is trying to learn uh, ballet at home. Anyway, uh, if you're a beginner, I'm literally there with you, okay? This is so confusing. Just like with any practice, you kind of start to zone out, right? Uh, you don't want to do that in ballet class if you ever end up going. That's my sister's dog barking. That's like rude. You want to follow along, but luckily here, I can kind of like... <laughs> This sounds bad to say, I kind of zone out a little bit. As I'm doing this, if you guys are getting this combination, like this specific one, tell me. If you guys are doing this, tell me. Because I'm like, what? Even though this one looks like the most fun, I'm like, like crap. <laughs> like, I just, I'm so out of shape right now. I swear I was trying so hard. I, s like, I was trying. I thought I was doing so good too because of my form, but. I would just focus so hard on one thing, like making sure I wasn't tilting my pelvis, but then I would fold the standing knee, things like that, which is fabulous. But you know, yeah, I don't know. It was kind of honestly difficult to focus. I think I'm gonna, actually, I think I'm gonna hop into the shower and then I'll come back and I'll talk about like what I thought about the video and about Katherine Morgan's classes. So now it's been a couple hours since i did that class like i'm not gonna lie it was a challenge um i haven't done this for a while so that's probably why it was a challenge like it just even the fact that i don't have muscle memory just doing something in a routine kind of gets you familiar with something in general and i just broke that routine and i just i stopped going for a while again i've talked about it in my past videos so just go check that out but um also, I did a haul on like cute clothes that I got for summer and this is like one of them. So if you want to see that, that was my past video. Anyway, whatever. So I think I'm going to make this into a series where I challenge myself to take, do ballet classes because I'm sure a lot of you guys are curious and I'm sort of like your lab rat to see if you can see progress with this. Ultimately though, like I understand that like things, like as adults, we have just so much more commitments and just we become busier and everything like that. <sighs> this is going to be a challenge. Like you guys are in this with me. Like if this is something that you've always wanted to do and you've tried doing it online, like tell me, like do, have you seen results from doing online classes? Because I feel like this could be so, like such a challenge and I'll explain in a second why. But yeah, like give me your feedback. And also you guys, let me know what videos do you guys want to see next. Like I'm so excited that you guys are just still here supporting me. And I feel like after all the surgeries that I've had, it's so important that I kind of recover and everything like that. As far as like physically, because I like my putting like ballet aside like I just am so stiff I don't, I'm not as flexible what I'm trying to say is this is a challenge for you and I you watching this video that you've always wanted to do ballet as an adult but didn't know where to start um I will end up going to classes in a couple months down the line but just right now I don't feel like it's the right time okay so let's talk about pros and cons that I've found doing the class and like online and going to an actual class okay so here's the thing a lot of especially if you guys have never gone to any class before but you're just so interested i would definitely say i do think going in person is much better it is more time consuming you know driving and being there and you just don't want to have the convenience of being home and it is better because the teacher is able to help your form 
tell you if you're doing this wrong or right. And even if you are doing, because like chances are you're doing so many things wrong, like no offense, right? But the teacher tells you like what you should be focusing on in your journey where you're exactly at. And they start to like learn your level. Something that I mentioned was the hand thing. My teacher knows like the level that I'm at. She's like, don't, don't do the hands just yet because you're not there yet. You still, you're still really challenged learning the steps. So don't involve your hands, you know, like those kinds of things. When you are doing ballet and someone corrects you, this is like side note, and someone corrects you, like your teacher corrects you, what you tend to do is like stop, like stop what you're doing and then having to start all over again, if that makes sense, versus correcting that one thing that you were doing wrong. Like as adults, you tend to do that versus like kids, like they, they just correct it and they keep going, which I feel like... Per personally, I feel like it's more like because I'm like, wait, you know, like they tell you like engage your core, turn your muscles inside out, blah, 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 and you only pick up one thing from what they said. You're just like engage my core. You focus so much on your core and you forgot everything else that they said. I don't know. It's like there's just I feel like adult dancing is just so much harder. Of course, you have a community, another uh, another pro of going into class like you have a community, everyone. I mean, not everyone's better than you, and if, even if they are, like, no one really cares, right? But also, they're also uplifting. But the cons of going into class is like, okay, it costs a lot. It It is a little bit more time worthy, especially if you're time consuming, especially if you're a lot more busy. It could lead to comparison. And when I say that, I don't mean like you see someone and you're just like, oh my god. It's more like, okay, like, one, they're all, like, a lot. They're getting this faster. Two, they all have great form. Three, like, I don't look as toned or my legs are not as toned. My core isn't engaged. Like, I don't know. Like, things like, which are just so silly. I understand that. But, you know... Everyone has insecurities. Like I've stated mine in my past videos in the past video that I made about ballet. I will say that Catherine Morgan's video for some reason, like I was trying to do some of her other beginner ones, her shorter ones, and they sorry, hold on, let me just adjust myself. The sun is like so bright, so I hope that I, this is like being lit up well. Anyway, some of them that don't have audio, and I'm assuming it's because like you have to pay for her website or something like that. I don't know. But uh, I don't know if I could do all of her videos. Like, do you guys know, know what's up with that? Like, does she only make non-audio beginner videos now? I don't know. Um, look at my cat, you guys. Look at how... Can you see that she turned yellow? I don't know what's up with that. Do you guys only follow her? Do you guys follow other people? Like, let me know. Like, what other beginner ballet classes do you guys follow? Oh, so yeah. Like, and then... Okay, so at home, of course, you have the convenience of being home. You can look however you want. And of course, it's more affordable. Did I already say that? I feel like I can mess up and, like, it's okay. Like, it's not even that no one's judging me. It's just, like, it's okay if I'm not getting this as fast as everyone else is. Even though, like, my form probably was totally off. See, that's the thing. It's just, like, I want... I wish I also had a teacher telling me, like, okay, no, like, straighten out a little bit more. But even then, like, it's so hard to do everything in your... So, like, if you're going through this, I get you. Like, I understand that this is, like, actually pretty difficult to just, like, master form yeah just form <laughs> that's actually really hard and then you're also going like slow or because it's a beginner i did actually like the video i just like i'm kind of confused about her youtube account and i also don't have a bar so i was just using my fireplace like I, <laughs> um unfortunately i had to make do with what i had i think i definitely have to get more ballet clothes but that's another side note and i will eventually go to the in-person classes but let me know if you guys have any more questions about like trying to do it online because i definitely found it pretty difficult not even just because it was like online but just because i just haven't been, i haven't done it in, in a while so but i definitely was sweating so so much um that's something to keep in mind. Just even trying to focus. <laughs> My mind was sweaty. No, just kidding. <laughs> I will see you guys super duper soon. I hope I covered all the bases. I think I did. I will see you guys super duper soon. Next Monday. I think I'm going to make this into a series. So subscribe if you guys are interested. And I'll see you guys later.
I just realized that my camera was like a little slanted, but whatever. Hopefully you're not a Virgo.